Hey there, <laughs> Divinity Rocks here. So, of course, I was doing something else, and I'm ADD, heard a bass line on this TV show that I was giving myself a little break from work to watch, and hmm, three minutes in, heard a really cool bass line and thought, oh man, that's a really cool bass line for students to learn because it's C major, so C major. The bass line. <laughs> Baseline, super cool. You can say it's an E flat major, D, D sharp major, however you want to look at it. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter for you beginner students. I'm going to transpose this bass line into the key of C. Right? That's the key of C. So, a lot of beginning bass players, the first scale they learn is the major scale, right? And you learn it around this part of the bass, right? This is called the neck. You're learning around this part of the neck. This is called the head, the head. Hi, head. We have a head, we have a neck, we have a body. So does the bass guitar. Anyway, so you wanna put your third finger, your ring, you know, your middle finger on what's called the third fret. on the A string. So you have four strings. You have this string here closest to you. This is the E string. This next string is the A string. Next string is the D string. This string is the G string. E, A, D, G, right? You gotta know that as a bass player. If you don't know anything else about where notes are on the bass, you have to know that. So on the second string, which is gonna be called your A string, you're gonna put your middle finger on the third fret here. So frets are these little lines that are going down the bass guitar. Some of you know that, right? So this is fret one, this is fret two, and this is the third fret. We're gonna put our middle finger here. Now, see how my fingers are? lined up with the frets. We call that finger to fret. It's not comfortable in the beginning, but the more you play, the more you get used to it. This is just one way to play the C major scale. There are several ways to play it. We're going to play it the simplest way or the way most commonly taught. It's not the way I would prefer that it's commonly taught, but it is. it does help with knowing this express yourself bass line because that's what we're trying to get to. I want to get you there. I only got a few more minutes before I get ADD again and want to go back to my movie. So, C major. C, middle finger on the third fret. Then we're going to stretch and put our pinky on the fifth fret on the same string. So you just play two notes. C and D, right? Now I want you to go to your D string, right? The string next to it going away from your body, and I want you to use your first finger. If your fingers are lined up the way I said, then your first finger will land on the second fret on your D string, right? That's the note you'll play, that's the note E. And then you'll play the note directly next to it. string and if your fingers are finger to fret your fingers will line up exactly where they need to be the first finger should be at the second fret that's a your third finger should be at the third fret that's B and your pinky should play the fifth fret that's C that's one octave of C major I want you to think about that pattern so we normally number our fingers. We have four fingers that we play with. One, two, three, four. So I'm gonna give you the pattern, uh, the number pattern that's associated with the fingers you're gonna play. So you play your second finger, two, four, right? One, two, three, one, three, four. Now that might be a little confusing 
explained to you. So I want you to just rewind this video and play it again. Second finger on the third fret. That's two second finger. Pinky on the fifth fret. That's your fourth finger. Index finger on the second fret on your next string over, which is the D string. That's the note E. to the express yourself bass line. Excuse me. You're just playing the major scale. You're playing those notes you're playing in that section of the bass. The first note is the fifth the fifth fret of the G string. That's this note C. And we're going to come down and play an octave. The lower octave of C. Right? So that's the first two notes. Sounds like it, right? It's funky already. Right? So you can get that. Mm, 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 three, four, and one. Two, three, four, and one. You got that? Right? We're going to do this in pieces. So that's the first piece you got to learn. Got it? Okay. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the next string and we're just going to play the three notes on that string that are part of the C major scale. Right? Which is the index finger on the second fret, your middle finger on the third fret, and your pinky on the fifth fret. Right? Now, one more time. as we know so far. Don't forget, pinky on the fifth fret, we're starting with that C. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's funky. We play it slow. I want to play it so fast, but I'm forcing myself to play slow. You got it? Now, we weren't playing all those little ghost notes in there. That comes with a little bit of time, right? Got that? Let's speed it up. Hey, 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 say, hey, hey, oh, got it? Now, whoa, what did you just do? All we did was we played. back to the first finger, which is on the second fret of that D string. And then we went back down to the C with our middle finger, which is at the third fret on the A string. Now if that was confusing, go back, rewind it so you can hear what I said. Oh, whoa, okay, so we just ascended which is going up the neck and then descended which is going down the neck you hear the notes are ascending they're going up in pitch when they descend they go down in pitch can you do that let's do it slow one two ready and one two my bad i want to do it in time 
too. Can you do that? All right, so we got the whole thing. Let's play from the beginning. One, two, ready, and go. is we're going to play the note directly across from the C, which is where our middle finger is. And we're going to play it with our middle finger. That's F. That's on the third fret on the D string. Right? So. Right? So we play that F and we play it twice. Whoa. What did you say? I said F, then we played the played it twice. Then we played the E, which is right next to it, second fret with your index finger. Then we go down with our pinky on the fifth fret on the A string. Right? It's two frets above C. And then we play the note directly across from that note on the D string, right? Subscribe to my YouTube channel, all that stuff that people say. Go listen to my music on Spotify, blah, 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 blah. Okay, back to Little Fires Everywhere. It's my break time. I deserve it. <laughs> 